Good morning, Tabernacle family. It's good to see you once again. Um, thanks for joining us for another Health Nugget. Um, I'm Dr. Linward McCalla, and we have Dr. Jude Pierre with us once more. And we're going to talk to you today about pesticides in your food and how to avoid that. Um, but before we talk about that, I would just like to question Dr. Pierre, how did you do with your uh, Made to Move program that we kicked off last week? Well, I recently got a bicycle, so I was already on a schedule where I was trying to bicycle, uh, cycle five miles a day. So I was trying to stick to that, and it got me pretty sore all over. <laughs> how did you do? Well, I'm not as young as I used to be. That's all I can say. My back was killing me after the first day. I have never done so many sit-ups with the, that way. I, I normally do crunches. So I was able to push through the next day and, and I started like a day late, so my last day is tomorrow. So, but I, I managed to do pretty well with it. So awesome. I'm hoping that the rest of you all continue with the program. Now let's move on to our topic, pesticides. Tell us, what are pesticides? Well, we know what pests are, so the side part means the act of killing. So farmers use this as a way of killing pests that may be bad for their crops, which would include insects, plants, rodents, bacteria, larvae, and even fungus. So um, since these chemicals are being put on our produce, it's important for us to discuss um, which ones are dangerous and the different kinds that there are. So talk to us about the first one, which is acephate. Okay, acephate is a pesticide that breaks down into a banned chemical compound called methamidrophos, methamidrophos. It is a neurotoxin. That means it affects your brain. It contributes the, to the greatest risk of contamination of fresh green beans. Green beans are one of the worst things, to actually, that are contaminated with pesticides. It also has a great risk for summer squash, celery, imported mangoes, and watermelon and actually even canned and frozen green beans also. So acephate is a pretty, pretty bad um, chemical. Tell us about the next one, chlorporphyram. Chlorporphyram is a chemical that is used to keep potatoes from sprouting. So this one, it's been banned in Europe because it interferes with your thyroid hormone and also your central nervous system, so your brain. Um, it, is, it was found on nearly every sample of non-organic U.S. grown potatoes and 96% of the imported potatoes. It was also um, not allowed on organic grown potatoes. So if you want to eat potatoes, the best way to go about it would be organic. Now tell us about the next one. Okay, chlorpyrifos is the next one. Chlorpyrifos is a, again a neurotoxin. And neurotoxins, just for your information, again, they affect the brain. They generally stay in your system about three weeks. So if you eat a lot of this stuff, it builds up and can be very toxic to your system. So it was banned a few years ago, this chlorpyrifos. And due to lobbying from the pesticide companies, it um, was retained. It's found in 2% of non-organic peaches and 17% of imported ones. Tell us about our next... Um, Pesticide. Cyhalothrin is the next one, and this chemical interferes with your neuromuscular system, so your movement, so if we're made to move, we won't want this one. Um, it's found in more than 50% of non-organic U.S. grown cherries, both frozen and fresh. It is also found in the U.S. grown non-organic lettuce, kale, tomatoes, nectarines, and spinach. It's also in imported lettuce, snap peas, tomatoes, and frozen green beans it also has a significant concentration so that's most of the things that you would have in like a regular salad so just to pay attention to that to avoid those okay our next one is famaxidone famaxidone is a pesticide which is considered a hormone disruptor it disrupts your hormones in your body we're still learning about this one but we do know it's a fungicide it's used to kill fungus and it's um helps to prevent fungus from the from you get it from the um, from the farm to your kitchen it helps to prevent fungus from growing on your food and the next one next one is flu dioxinil and this is also a fungicide so it's there to kill or prevent um, a fungus build up on your food 
It is sprayed on food after it's harvested to prevent the growth of fungus. It is believed to be a hormone disruptor as well. It is found on 90% of US grown non-organic nectarines and 78% of US grown fresh peaches. Wow, that's a high percentage. It is. It is also a risk factor for non-organic apples, applesauce, cherries, kiwi fruit, pears, plums, and potatoes. Okay, there's some other pesticides, glyphosate, which we hear about, that's what we used in Roundup, and decamba, which are used primarily on beans and grains, these two. So we didn't include these two in our, our presentation because they're not used on produce specifically. So let's talk now about the safety ratings. This is really where it gets to the heart of the matter. This is where you have to pay attention now. Talk about the safety ratings of pesticides, please. Definitely. Well, thanks to a five-year study done by Consumer Reports um, between 2014 and 2008, which anal analyzed about 24,000 samples of fruits and vegetables, we were able to create this uh, grading scale of the safety ratings for pesticides in the food. Now, the risk in this study was based on how it would affect a 35-pound or four-year-old child. But based on the adult serving sizes, it's still a risk, uh, a risk for adults as well. So we have grade A, which is excellent. Um, and those are you can eat in great amounts. You have grade B, which is also very good, um, which you can eat in moderation. We have grade C, which is good, which you'd want to eat very small amounts of. And grade D, which is fair, something you want to possibly avoid if you don't need it. And then grade F is something you just don't want to consume. So we're going to look at non-organic vegetables first. So let's get the A rating. OK, so the vegetables, the A rated ones, the ones you can eat a lot of. One, broccoli, cabbage. And these are all fresh. Fresh broccoli, cabbage, fresh carrots, cilantro, fresh corn, fresh onions, fresh peas, sweet peas, fresh scallions, and canned tomatoes. All those are rated A, so if you find them in the store, you can buy them. Yes, another or non-organic for B ratings are asparagus, cucumbers, peas, sweet potatoes, and tomatoes. All fresh, non-organic, are okay to consume. All right, let's move on to C now. Again, they're starting to, to have pesticides in them, but very, very small amounts. So fresh lettuce, summer squash, fresh summer squash, canned green beans, um, green beans that are frozen, and egg, eggplant, which is fresh, fresh eggplant. Now, interestingly enough, green beans, canned green beans are rated C, but fresh green beans are F because of the pesticides on them. There, maybe there's something about canning them that helps to remove some of the pesticides on the surface. Possibly. Let's jump to D. Uh, D, we have celery and kale fresh. These are non-organics or something you might want to avoid. So if you wanted those things, best to go organic for those. And you were saying about the Fs? Okay, the Fs, we, I mentioned green beans already. Fresh green beans are Fs. Fresh potatoes are Fs. Fresh spinach is F. And frozen spinach is also F. Now, interestingly, all these F ones, all organic vegetables are rated A. So these, we're talking about non-organic, okay? All of the previous ones we've discussed are all non-organic. But if you switch to organic, they're rated A, except for spinach, which is still rated F. The rule of thumb is this. If you are going to buy your vegetables, just if you're not certain, then go organic. But if you look at our little list here, it will help you make wise decisions, and you may not need to spend the money for the organic, but you can also... Um, um, still select um, the non-organic and, and um, be healthy. Now let's move on to fruit. For fruit, non-organic, rated A, you can eat a lot of these, would be cranberries, fresh, frozen, or canned, uh, fresh grapefruit, oranges, plums, oh, oh sorry, prunes or dried plums, um, or you can have canned peaches, or fresh pineapple, or cantaloupe. Now these are probably um, graded A because of their thick skin and also bananas. They weren't in our study, but they're also imported. So those are also rated A because you have to peel off the skin as well. So let's talk to us about the B ratings. 
Okay, the B-rated non-organic fruit. Applesauce, they, can, they added applesauce in. Grapes, fresh grapes, fresh mangoes, and fresh raisins. Interestingly, down here in, the South, Flo in South Florida, most of us eat mangoes that are fresh. We're getting them off our own trees, so we don't have an issue with that at all, usually in South Florida. All right, tell us about those rated C, the fruit rated C, non-organic fruit. So for our C, we have uh, fresh kiwi, plums, strawberries, either fresh or frozen. We have uh, fresh watermelon and also blueberries frozen. Now, I mentioned for watermelon, if uh, normally people try to eat it down to the rind, which is the part, the part that has the most um, uh, pesticides level, so it's best to eat the, the red part of the watermelon. And then for the blueberries, they are rated C when they're frozen, but when they are fresh, it turns out to be a D. Okay, I'm going to talk about D right now. So those um, fruit that are rated D, apples are number one, one of the, the first ones we're going to mention, fresh apples, and it's because they're sprayed with different chemicals um, on the outside of the skin. Blueberries, interestingly, you mentioned the canned blueberries. Fresh blueberries are worse than canned. And frozen. again, there's frozen. another situation with that, than, than the frozen, I'm sorry. Fresh is worse than the frozen. So I think there's something about it that the processing it helps to remove some of the pesticides. Nectarines, fresh nectarines, fresh peaches, all are rated D. Very poor, eat very small amounts of this, if any at all. Yes, and now the last one's... F, and it's going to be uh, hard for us all, because peaches, um, peaches sorry, and cherries are one that a lot of people do like, um, but if it's not hopeless, there are still organic choices that you can choose from, which will be rated A. If you're in ever doubt, always think organic, and those would be rated A, um, but you'd want to really avoid any cherries or peaches that were non-organic. Mm -hmm. So let me get this, make sure we have it in a nutshell. So if it's fruit, Mm -hmm. um, the more, all of the organic fruit, fruit are okay to eat, correct? Yes. Okay, and so um, there are a few of them that are, you, you can buy both non-organic or organic, but mm -hmm. if you're in doubt, just buy all your fruit organic, and it will take care of it. All right, well, this is another segment of the Health Nugget, um, and we hope that this appeals to you, that you will apply some of this to your life and your shopping and so that you will live longer, healthier lives. And our question to you, have you got your health? Have you got your health? Mm -hmm. And the Bible says, whether therefore you eat or drink or whatsoever you do, do all to the glory of God. 1 Corinthians 10, 31. And this is Dr. Leonard McCalla and Dr. Jude Pierre saying thanks for joining us again.